I think we're all in. <laughs> um, welcome to my channel. Today is Tuesday Tagged. We wanted to thank Tracy over at Trials of a Long Hair Girl for doing the uh, sending the tag questions. Tracy used to do them all the time. Uh, she started it in March of 2020, but then um, she had some soldier, shoulder surgery, and so she's been out of commission for a while. So Jimmy and I have been taking over, and uh, we've been trying our best to keep up. And so now Tracy's feeling better. So starting the first of the year, we're going to alternate doing the tags. Mm -hmm. Tracy's of Trials of a Long Hair Girl will do it one week. Joan and Doug over at Joan's Pointed Plate will do it one week. Kim and Mr. Smooth over at... Uh, a girl and her phone are going to do it one week. Jimmy and I will do it one week. And recipes with Roy. Roy, try to talk Paul into doing at least one of them with you. I know Paul doesn't like it on camera, but tell him that by popular demand, he's demanded. Tell him, Bertie. He's demanded. Okay, and so and also if you're new to my channel, you notice that I have an elf, which is my husband, Jim. Hello. And Bertie, my sister. Hello, my friend. Jim's sister. So, uh, and you'll notice who's conspicuously missing is Jimmy. Jimmy has has to work overtime on his regular job today, mm -hmm. and he still had to go order cabinets for his house that he's building. And so, uh, if we do this right, we still will have Jimmy and hopefully Samantha in the video too. We're going to try to figure out a way to edit him in. He might be doing the questions. He might not be doing the questions. You're either just going to be stuck with these two elves. Stuck? Well. Well, she's got the height requirement. Yeah, she, oh. yes, Bertie's very short. <laughs> but anyway, so. Um, vertically challenged. Vertically challenged. Yeah. But I am going to tag Valerie Reese and Weight Watchers with Carrie. So um, let's get on with the questions. Are you guys ready? Jim okay. should explain his hat first. Explain your hat, Jim. Explain my hat. I was working at one of the schools. Uh, about a week or so ago. He's a custodian. And one of the teachers had her little son in the room with her. And I asked him if he was all ready for Christmas yet. And he told me that his elf hadn't come to decorate his house yet. Because Jingles comes to more than one house. But not Jingles. He had a different elf. Yeah. I forget. I, I think he said his name was Evan. No. It, it'll come to me later. But he said his elf hadn't come yet and I said well my elf came and decorated my house but he left his hat on the couch when he left and he said really and I said yeah I said if you're here tomorrow I'll bring it in and show you so I brought my hat in and showed him and his eyes got so wide <laughs> I couldn't believe it he was like thoroughly impressed so I'll insert a picture here of Jim putting up the Christmas lights. I'm sorry. Jim doesn't hear well. I'm going to put a picture. I was going to put a picture right there of when you're putting the lights up outside. I have a picture of you with your oh, hat on. Okay. Uh, anyway. So, like I said, if, if Jimmy does do the tag, I'll try to edit them in. But if not, we'll just get you'll just get our answers for now. Uh, the first question, and we'll let Bertie start with the first question. What was your most memor memorable holiday as a kid? Oh, Christmas. When I was three, I can't remember if I was three or if I was four. I got everything doll related you could think of. We got big dolls, and my and my mother sewed extra clothes for it. My mom and dad made doll beds for us, a hutch for us. We got dishes and silverware and pots and pans and a laundry basket with a clothesline and clothespins and a closet to put our doll clothes in. My uh, mom made the sheets and the pillows and the blankets and the comforters for the for the twin beds that they made for us for our dolls. It was it was the best Christmas ever. Man, I was going to say mine was when I had some candy in my stocking. <laughs> wow. Well, because my family, well, I mean, we always had a gift. I'm not going to say that, but we weren't really, uh, <coughs> well, my mother never sewed. And so when we had to make doll clothes, we had to sew them ourselves. And so we made like, we used like napkins. And so like you that. had a lot of togas? <laughs> we had a lot of togas. We didn't have very many clothes. But my best, I think 
really my most memorable one would be the one time when we went to downtown Hudson's, which was like a big mm -hmm. deal, mm -hmm. to go see Santa Claus. And we stood in the line, and when you were going through the line, you got to see all the little elves. And it was the first time that I ever really saw uh, mechanical, um, like elves and things like that. that the, oh, the animated ones? The animated things, yeah. Because I, we, never, we never saw that in my, you know, like when I was growing up. And it was kind of like, where I, which I've never been to, which you guys used to go to. Mm -hmm. was, Rotunda? Rotunda, yeah. We, uh, we never went to the Rotunda. Ford Rotunda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we never went to that. I loved that. Kind of like that. But I, I, mine would, that would be my, and I think I was probably about six. That was my most memorable one. Oh, I could say that my most memorable Christmas was the, <laughs> involved this guy. <laughs> was when we had the one year we did, well, I had more than one memorable one with this guy. But the one was, well, we didn't have very much money. And we only had ten dollars, which back then wasn't a, was still a lot of money, but it wasn't really a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And he bought me an eight track player of who he a, thought was my set. No, it was like an eight track. We put it in the in the car. It was an eight track. <laughs> we won't agree on this, but he'll agree that it was a sound thing that we put in a machine, whether it was a CD or whatever. I don't it think wasn't it was a, a CD. It was a cassette of Johnny Cash. No, it was the Everly Brothers. She's going way back. It was in the seventies. Yeah, that would have been an eight. And that wouldn't have been that would have been an eight track in the seventies. Wait, sixties and early seventies. Whatever it was, it was Jim's favorite artist, who he thought was mine. <laughs> that was my most memorable gift from Jim. But Jim gives me great gifts ever since then. I will have to say mm -hmm. he's gone well, well and above and beyond. And everybody thinks you're getting me a banjo, but I told them, you know I don't want a banjo. No, no banjo this year. No, I don't want a banjo. We don't want to listen to her play the banjo. See, I told you. Okay, this is going to be a long video. Okay, what's about yours, Jim? What? Your most memorable Christmas a holiday as a kid. question. <laughs> My most memorable? I don't even know if Bertie was alive then. I think I was probably, I think it was like five, maybe. You wouldn't have been alive. I wouldn't have been alive. Five or six. Anyways, we lived in the, I know you weren't alive because we were living in the upper flat then. No. We were living in the upper flat. And I remember being in the front room with my dad and I had a, uh, he bought me this punching bag on a stand. You stand on a stand and punch the bag. He just didn't want you to have time anymore. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to say because mm. Bertie wasn't there. That could be. Hey. No. Okay, number two. What are your favorite holiday treats? Jim will go first on this one. Okay, Anything with sugar, I guess. <laughs> I like Bertie's uh, uh, Christmas cookies and Sandra's fudge. Yeah, my favorite holiday treats are Bertie's Christmas cookies. Which, which they are very, very good. And um, see, I'm not a big fan of my fudge. I make that fudge every year, and then I find out that the only one that really likes my fudge is Jim. I liked it. Did you like it? I liked it. Oh, because everybody okay. else told me. And now I'm not going to get you're any. You're not getting any fudge. No. Sucks to be you. Yeah, I need an elf. But that would be <laughs> homemade Christmas cookies are my favorite holiday treats. Yeah. Yeah, go get some. We, we always over. get cookies from Bertie. Is it my turn? It's your turn. Other than my cookies, because they're my cookies. They're very good cookies. They are good cookies. But Don't break outside your arm. Of, Don't break your arm. Don't no, break your arm. I mean, aside from something mean yeah. that I make myself, I love chocolate covered cherries. Love them. Oh, your dad did too. I know. He got me started on them. See, and I like cherries and I like chocolate, but I don't like chocolate But they used cherries. to come in a box with two tiers. Now it's only one, and there's only five in the box. Well, make your own. No, I, no, no, no. Then it's back to me again. Okay, number. We got to make sure we answer all the questions because Jimmy and I always forget a question. So okay. you got to make sure I'm at number three. What is your funniest holiday memory? I get to go first. My funniest holiday memory is when their brother Tom dressed up as Santa Claus one day, and he, uh, he left, one and he year? had this really cheap, one year rather, and then he dressed up in this plastic. Santa Claus suit 
and he went outside and then Tommy answered the door, which was his son, because he rang the doorbell and he was going, ho, ho, ho. And he opened up the door and then he closed the door on him. And he says, it's just my dad dressed up in a cheap holiday, uh, Santa Claus suit. <laughs> I felt bad for Tom because he did put a little bit of effort into it. All right, um, Bertie, you're next. Your funniest holiday memory. It was, it was when I was probably in sixth grade, 12. And my mom and dad had bought my sister and I both a bicycle. But they didn't bring the bicycles in the house. They left them outside on the front porch. And then my, my dad said that we had to go outside to get our gifts. And I just thought that it was the strangest thing was that I had to go outside to get a gift. And then I saw my bike. I really don't have a funny memory. You know, I just like Christmas in general. Mm-hmm. True. Uh, number four, what is your favorite holiday scent? Your first this time. Pine. A really nice smelling pine, like a pine tree. Yeah, you know, not was, overdone like a bathroom spray, but a really nice... Or like those pine things you hang in the car. Yeah, no, a really nice pine Yeah, tree. I was going to say like a Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> and the fat one in the middle said, the cookie smell. <laughs> 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 the baking of the cookies. The baking of cookies is my favorite <clears throat> holiday scent. But my, I guess actually would be cinnamon. Or turkey cooking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's another good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, number five, what is the best Christmas gift you ever received? Now, I know it was the year that Jim brought me home to meet the family. Yeah, that was it. But you got to pick a better one than that. And I know it's going to be hard, but think really hard, because there's got to be a better holiday gift that you brought home. Wow. It, it, has to, it, it still has to go back to when I was three or four years old. All that doll stuff, it just filled up the entire living room. My parents either made it or bought very little but it was all homemade stuff and i loved it all like little house on the prairie yeah i was little house on the prairie like I was mr. Little french. Laura Ingalls Wilder. mr french walked through all that mm -hmm. snow no. just to get to your house I, that, was my, that was my favorite cup. that was my favorite what was your best christmas gift ever uh when you bought me a gun <laughs> when have i ever bought you a gun you bought me that uh Ruger 300 Wind Mag. When did I do that? Oh, that was a long time ago. You, you sure had talked to... You, you sure had, that was me? Yeah, you had talked to Dale, and Dale told you about it. What did you think? It was his other wife that bought it? I think it was like a girlfriend or something. No, I don't think so. I think it was you. No, it was you. Do we still have it? I still have it, yeah. Who's we? <laughs> Well, if I bought it, it's mine. No. If I would have bought it, it would have been in my name because they won't let you buy a gun in somebody right, else's it, name. Exactly. It's in my name. Yeah, but... Oh, you, that's my gun. But you gave it to me as a gift. There you go. You see, even Judge Judy would say, oh, you gave it to him as see, a I, gift. See, I think you're wrong on that one because no, I've never touched a gun in my life. You, you, didn't didn't touch, to. you didn't touch it. Your when memory is going on this. No, Your memory's I, going She's getting yet. old. I am getting old. I don't ever remember purchasing She's any kind old. of a gun. Talk, call up Dale after this and he'll tell you. I don't remember mm -hmm. this. I'm, I wouldn't think that you'd lie to me. Because I didn't buy it. And the kids got me the Leopold uh, scope for it. This is a gun or a rifle or a... A rifle, yes. Or you said the scope was from the kids. I don't know if you bought it and just I, put their name on it. I have no memory of that at all. Hmm. 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 All right, the best Christmas gift I've ever received. I've received so many great gifts. Other than the crappy disc player. Disc, the music. The cassette. Music. It wasn't a cassette. <clears throat> it was an 8-track player. It was an 8-track music thing. Um... Jim's always given me really good gifts. He really has. Oh, don't be doing that. We don't need any <laughs> That's not my favorite scent. I'll tell you that right now. It never has. Um, Jim's expelling here. which You don't good. like the smell of hard-boiled eggs? No. No, I don't. Recycled? No. Especially when they're where they're coming from right now. Um, 
I fit my best gift. Oh my gosh. You know, really, I really think that any of the gifts that my, you know, I mean, like I said, Jim always gives me really great gifts. But I think that the gifts that the kids got when they got it, those crappy little gifts that they get at the store, at school. The I mean, gloves. The, you, know, well, you know, no, like they get you like the Michelob bottle made like a vase like a or dice something. For your, for your room. Yeah, I still have, well, I have like the ornament that Christy made me for the tree. So I have that. And I have the ornament that Jim, Dave, Danny made me. Jimmy never really made me anything, and he's a carpenter. But he, you know, but I, I got, I've just gotten too many gifts. It's kind of hard to pick up one. Uh, number six, what is the weirdest gift you ever received? Yeah. Oh, I know what mine is. My weirdest gift was when I first started going uh, with Jim, and we were with his fam going with his family. His mother got me something that was a gag gift. And I didn't know it was a gag gift. I thought it was a real gift. And I was always taught to be polite. And so I was just saying how nice this gift was. And it was exactly what I wanted. And everybody was like looking at me like, you know, what kind of nut are you? The ugly gift? That ugly gift. The I, ugly didn't know. gift. I didn't realize that Jim's family had a tradition of giving an ugly gift. And I got the ugly gift that year. And I was so appreciative of getting a gift that I didn't realize it was an ugly gift. Although it was ugly. It was ugly. It thus the name. Was, thus the name, the ugly gift. And so what you had to do is you had to do something with it. And on the way home, I even when I left, I never even knew it was an ugly gift. I dropped it and I broke it. And I was feeling so devastated that I broke it. And then Jim broke the news to me that it's an ugly gift. And, you know, like they were kind of making fun of you in a nice way, not in a mean way. That, you know, like, and then you went on and on about how great a gift it was. And so I wrapped it up and gave it to his mother the following year. And I put a bottle of glue in it so she could fix the crack. Because we had to add to the you gift. You had to add to the gift. So the gift continued. Until we got to her son. No, until we got to Jackie, who liked it, or, or... No, William didn't. William, William yeah, didn't continue it. Yeah, I know that. But we, we but the gift part, it was the same gift, but you kept adding to it and adding yeah. to it. Until one of my sister-in-laws, Jan, liked it and kept it. So she had to start a new ugly gift because she kept the one that she got yeah, and the then year William before. Stopped the tradition. And then my son was a party pooper and stopped it. So we should start it back up again. Yes. Okay, so what's the weirdest gift you've ever received? You can't use the ugly gift because I've already used yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I should have went first. You told me to go uh, first. Uh, uh, uh. You know when... You've given a list to your spouse of the things you want, but they need to fill a stocking or get an, a, a number of gifts for you and, and, and they haven't reached it, so they come up with their own idea. It's like, okay, fine. That's happened to me a few years. It's like the gift they pick, who picks, is like, what were you thinking? But I can't tell you right now because... You know, it, it really meant not that much to me <laughs> to remember <laughs> to remember what it was. Mine, it's really not weird, but uh, Sandra and I have a knack for getting each other the exact same gift. The exact same gift. A few, uh, well, a bunch of years ago, I decided I was going to get her a camera for our anniversary. So I wrapped it up and everything, and she got me a gift, and she wrapped it up, and we exchanged presents, and I'm looking at this box. As I was looking at mine. And it's the exact same size as the box that I had given her. And I said, well, what are the chances we got each other the same thing? And we opened it up, and it was the exact same camera. Exactly, to the model and everything. It was the exact same. It was like we both went there, picked up these cameras off the shelf. Together. Together. Yeah. And then uh, a few years ago, I think it was for Christmas, I bought her a sound bar for her TV in the back room. And she had gotten me a sound bar for the TV in the living room. Because we have our own TVs. It wasn't the exact same He's got a sound TV. bar. Yeah. But still, it was... The same idea. The same thing, a sound bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the one year I bought you that little thing that you use 
that little sound thing that you use for your radio, that little oh, red thing. What's that yeah. called? Oh, yeah. And he got me one for my Apple. Yeah. A speaker, like a speaker. speaker. Yeah, a speaker. Yeah, a Bluetooth speaker. A Bluetooth speaker, yeah. I got him one and he got me one. I'm again. We think alike. Hmm? Number seven, how long did you believe in Santa? I think I was about 10. Whoa. I know. I was like, you, old. you were lucky. Yeah, 10, 11 you years were. old. You were lucky. It was different back then because not everybody was. Did we do the funniest holiday memory? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because I just thought of one. What is your funniest holiday memory? I got to go back to number three. It just it just now hit me. <laughs> My funniest holiday memory, and you'll even think it's funny too, is when Danny came home from school and he asked Sandra, is there really a Santa Claus? Because he was talking to some friends at school and they said that there was no Santa Claus. This was before Jimmy tried to bust the bubble too. Right. And she told him, well, if you believe there is, you know, and he says, well, I want to believe, but I really don't think there oh, no, this is. is after, this was after Jimmy, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's after. Yeah. And she said, but if you believe, then there is a Santa Claus. And he says, well, I got too many people telling me there's no Santa Claus. He says, I really don't think there's a Santa Claus, is there? And she goes, no, it's me and your dad. And he was sitting there with his winter coat on and his school bag in his lap. <laughs> and he goes, well, I guess there's no Easter bunny either that is there. <laughs> he was devastated. <laughs> Two things at once. Wow. Two disappointments right before Christmas. Wow. So that's my funniest uh, holiday. Okay, so then how long did you believe in Santa? How long did I believe in Santa? Uh, probably uh, I don't know. Probably about eight or nine, maybe. Yeah, definitely longer than me. Yeah, I think when you're younger, you, like no. when you're older. No, it's when you're the youngest and all your siblings already know. No, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. they burst the bubble. I didn't burst the you bubble. Did, you burst my bubble. Yes, you did. You told well, me there I, was no Santa. We've told the story of Jimmy telling Danny that there was no such thing as Santa. But then we told him that Santa only comes to those who believe. Yeah, so, well, the kids, my kids, kept asking if there was a Santa. I said, do you really think your dad and I could afford all this? No. They agreed. And so they believed a little longer. Yeah, there you go. But see, being the oldest of six, and then back then you didn't well, have... He a, had six people to tell them. I had five, five people. people five people to tell but then you know, like you didn't have all the TV things, and you didn't have no. a, you didn't have a Santa Claus on TV constantly. You know, he had a TV at the mall. Yeah, all of that. Uh, number eight. Have you ever had a oh, white Santa at the mall? Right? right. Have you ever had a white Christmas? Oh, lots of yeah, them. We get lots of them. We live in Michigan, yes. so we yes. But I asked me if we ever had a green one. Yes. Yes, lots of green ones. In the seventies, it was sixty some degrees on Christmas Eve. Yeah. It's spring jackets on. I remember that. Yeah. Number nine, we did this last week. I still haven't figured out one. What is your favorite Christmas movie? A Christmas Carol. White Christmas, my favorite. Well, did you just watch that the other day? No, that was... Uh, Something in. A Holiday Inn. Holiday I th Inn, yeah. I think it was. Uh, my favorite Christmas movie... I guess because I quote so many lines from it would be the Christmas story. But I have another really? one. Really? I have I I do have another uh, favorite Christmas movie. I, it just now popped into my head. Uh, the Three Godfathers with John Wayne. Yeah, we watched. If that. you've never heard of that movie, I have You've seen. Watch it, sure. watch the movie The Three Godfathers with John Wayne. I'm Very sure. good. I've never heard of it. You don't movie. know it's a Christmas movie till about a quarter of the way through, and then you Anything? realize that it is. Mm -mm. Never heard it. Never saw it. I, yeah. Number 10, what goals would you like to concentrate on before the year is up? Getting back on track and stop eating so much sugar for me. 
There you go. Quit smoking. Again. 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 Yours is the One of these cool. times, it's going to be the end. It's going to click. Yeah. And the bonus question is, what are you most excited about this season? Getting together with family. Yeah, we couldn't do that last year. No, well, my immediate family, but yes, getting together with family. Yeah, I'm excited about getting together with the family. My kids opening their, everybody, not even my kids, but everybody that I got their gifts mm -hmm. for, because I went out of my way this year. I think I did, I think I did exceptional. For me? Oh, for you even more so. Yay! Exceptional. I think I did really well this year. That's and good. Uh, just, um, just being around family and living my faith and things like that. Seeing Jimmy's house get built, get done. Yeah, that'd be nice if we could get that done. Yeah. He's That's, working really hard on that. He is working hard. Him and the little bugger man. Yep, which is David. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for putting up with my little elves that I had helping us. But I didn't get a hat. You should have brought a hat. I didn't know. Well, Jingles didn't leave his hat at your no, house. No, he didn't. There's some ribbon in that back, sir, if you want to yeah, hurry okay, up and grab that and put it on top of your head. Go yeah. get it. Go get it and put it on top of your head. So that, that way she won't feel so deprived. I will feel deprived. Which, and you can tell us which elf you are. There. <laughs> Squirrely. <laughs> Curly. <laughs> there go. Anyway, Merry Christmas to everybody. Hopefully we'll have another full year of great tags coming up. Actually, we got one more tag left this year. That's right, because Jimmy and I have the tag for next week. But it's, it's before, after Christmas. So Merry Christmas. And a Happy New, New year. year. And thank you for watching. So once again, I'm tagging Valerie Reese. And Weight Watchers with Carrie. Well, as I was editing the video, I realized that Jimmy didn't send me his video clip tagging his girl, Kim, and Mr. Smooth over at a girl on her phone. So I am here to correct that error on my part that I didn't remember to put that in. Because, Kim, we know we're going to tag you. You know that. That goes without saying whether Jimmy's here or not. So Kim and Mr. Smooth, Jimmy wanted me to remember to tag you. I was neglectful in that part, and I apologize. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. Sorry it was so long, but what can I say? It was worth it. And mimeograph. Oh yeah, Jimmy, Jim always likes to show his age by mimeographing. So thank you so much. Talk to you guys soon.